Star Wars Outlaws' latest patch fixes problematic stealth. Star Wars Outlaws stealth sections have received a major rework via a new title update from Ubisoft. Title update 1.2 tweaks the stealth mechanics in a more positive way, including adjusting AI detection and reducing detection chances while in cover. Topping the list of more notable changes is that the stealth experience has been ironed out. That means adjusted AI detection, tweaked NPC locations and positioning, and more are here to ensure sneaky smugglers have a more enjoyable experience. Players will also notice that it's easier to control KVS when she's on a speeder thanks to an improved camera and speeder response time. The update also lists stability improvements that should help with dropped frames for certain users, improved animations for K, and better lip syncing. These changes came as a result of fan feedback about the sections being bad, which Ubisoft acknowledged. That said, with update 1.2, it seems like those stealth sections have been patched to be less frustrating for players. The recently deployed title update is the largest update of its kind since the game's original launch back in late August. It's the latest in a series of title updates that includes a long list of tweaks to the visuals as well as some squashed bugs. Ubisoft says the batch of additions to its open-world sci-fi video game were included with fan feedback in mind, adding that it is dedicated to listening closely as post-launch support for Star Wars Outlaws continues. The full patch notes for Update 1.2 can be found here, though, beyond stealth, the update addresses some issues with the speeder, while also adding some additional accessibility options, among other updates and fixes. As for the game's stealth mechanics, the biggest change is the following. Tweaked the overall stealth experience by adjusting AI detection, the number of NPCs and their positioning, patrol pathing, camera detection, and highlighting environmental opportunities to reduce player friction. Additionally, reduced detection chances when using cover has also been patched into the game, along with fixing an issue where some NPCs could not be distracted by nicks. To that end, Ubisoft further outlined that in Underworld, it adjusted enemy amount, AI detection, patrols, and scalable environment to better the stealth experience. All of this comes in response to the aforementioned fan feedback that occurred shortly after the game's launch. At the time, the game's creative director, Julian Garaiti, admitted in an interview that the sections were unfair. More so, he confessed that it wasn't the team's intention to make the insta-fail sections feel that way, adding that it was something that crept in the last week or so. Patch details, version 7063935, TU2, PlayStation 5, 3.80 gigabytes, version 01.002.000, Xbox Series XS, 4.71 gigabytes, version 1.0.2.0, PC, 5.60 gigabytes, version 1.0.2.0. Notable changes. Tweaked the overall stealth experience by adjusting AI detection, the number of NPCs and their positioning, patrol pathing, camera detection, and highlighting environmental opportunities to reduce player friction. Fixed an issue where players would get stuck in the hyper jump sequence towards Kajimi. Fixed an issue where the takeoff button prompt wouldn't be shown after the wreck mission. Improved the position of the speeder camera when the FOV was increased. Improve the speeder's response and reaction when called. Improved speeder collision with the environment to reduce being knocked off the speeder. Caro's speakeasy fixed an issue where the energy barrier was not disabled after successfully slicing the panel on Miragana. Fixed an issue where players could not interact with the triangulation stone in Jet Cordo's quest line on Tashara and where the holo tracker would not spawn in the trailblazer. Full patch notes. Performance and stability. Improved stability and performance across all platforms. Fixed FPS drops with Intel Arc GPUs. Added VRAM impact to Art XDI usage. General gameplay. Improved animation of K's movements. Scaled AI reaction to environmental actions from investigation to combat, e.g., when Nyx detonates an NPC's grenade more than once. Reduced adrenaline gain when using melee. Added a quick throw button for using grenades. Improved conflicts when crouching near ledges when camera is facing the opposite direction. Reduced detection chances when using cover. Improved the speeder controls when using a mouse. 
added a tutorial reminder for the blaster's stun module, improved elements of the Death Trooper event, improved sniper rifle sensitivity, improved speeder collision with the environment to reduce being knocked off the speeder, added the ability to press jump twice when near a grapple point to activate it, improved animations after takedowns, improved melee animation after punching an enemy wearing a helmet, fixed an issue where K wouldn't receive any damage from enemy blasters, fixed an issue where Nick's accessories and treats were not showing in the menu when in space, fixed an issue where controller presets weren't saved when playing on different consoles of the same platform, fixed an issue where K would get stuck in out-of-bound areas, fixed an issue where the grappling hook wouldn't snap to the correct position, fixed an issue where K would incorrectly lose reputation when trespassing in syndicate districts, fixed an issue where some NPCs could not be distracted by Nick's, fixed an issue where K's reputation wouldn't be impacted properly when detected completing actions such as stealing or being caught in syndicate districts, fixed an issue where player input wouldn't be registered during slicing if pressed quickly, fixed an issue where the speeder racing NPC wouldn't move when starting the race, fixed an issue where the speeder racing NPC would dub pawn on Tashara, fixed an issue where Nick's sense wouldn't highlight NPCs that can be pickpocket, fixed an issue where K would teleport to the nearest shoreline when fast traveling if the speeder was on deep water. Fixed an issue where open world events would deactivate after getting close to the location. Fixed an issue where some syndicate events would not grant rewards when completed. Fixed an issue with a death trooper event not triggering when reaching wanted level 6. Fixed an issue where defeat the wanted level 6 objective does not complete after finishing the event in space. UI, HUD, and settings. Added syndicate names to individual contracts. Improved the flow on individual expert screens to view abilities as they become ready to unlock. Updated the description of gear sets to match their effects. Changed the default setting for the speeder to keyboard, WSD, rather than mouse on PC. Improved in-game menus and scrolling. Improved descriptive text when interacting with vendors that require certain syndicate reputation. Fixed an issue where the cinematic volume setting was not registering properly. Fixed an issue where FOV was not working correctly when in 21.9 mode on consoles. Fixed an issue where the speeder icon was not present on the map and compass when fast traveling from one planet to another. Graphics. Improved the performance of VRAM, RTXDI, frame generation, and ray reconstruction. Fixed various graphical corruptions during takeoff and landing sequences and when in space. Fixed an issue with specific gear sets flickering when frame generation is on. Improved NPC visuals.